Take a look at this. We uh, we really sent it today. Gotta talk loud. I uh, just got the autocross, so I'm gonna get copyright for the music here. Hey, hey, buddy. We're about to uh, get tech inspected, and hopefully I pass with these seats and these seat belts. Uh, got Kaylin behind us. She's uh, she's racing today as well. First time she's raced. I don't think she raced at all last season, and only like once in the season before. So she's nice and rusty on some very uh, like all season tires. So we'll see how she does breaking the rust off. But it should be a very exciting day. Last time I looked, we had 29 drivers. I think there's a lot more than that now. So I'll get back to you. Oh boy, wrong button. Fernando went. Guys, first lap, new setup. Windows gotta be up or down? They can be, they can be down. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Long your arms aren't out of them. <laughs> yeah. Alright, boys. I'm nervous as hell. I'm not gonna do launch control on this first one. Bryce is all lined up.
places I can definitely improve on there. Way different with having LSD, I'm telling you guys. That is crazy. I need to look at the video. Oh, I don't know if it'll show there. I'm definitely banging about 8,000 RPM there. Woo! Tire pressure definitely helped. I started cold, 30 on the front, 32 on the rear. And then this, after the first lap, I did 28 front, 30 rear. So we'll, we'll check it. Um, I already went through a quarter tank of fuel. So definitely glad I brought that jug. it again you guys just saw in the in-car video I screened about an EPC light well uh take a look at this we uh we really sent it today I really just I'm not mad at all really I mean it kind of sucks this is the last event out here I just hope that no bits got into the motor because it's like my whole life savings Tur placing the turbo whatever I wanted to go XL anyway but uh here we are it's gonna be a meme right there the face <laughs> I can tell you right the, now. The thumbnail. All right, we just loosened up the inlet. We'll pop this bad boy off. Hopefully, we won't have to take any of the cam things out to pull the turbo off. But you can see something dented it. I never really, I can't tighten like my hose, my silicone here, because the what you call it's like broken. So this happened today. This dent. Me. Uh, this is very interesting. <laughs> Turn it sideways, bring it through the top. You never, never stop. There's more stuff. Come on, hop. I'm about to take the yeah. pull off valve off, or the diverter valve, and then it should fit. It should pull right through. Let me grab my five noodle. That's what I'm talking about. Look, this one started to fry too. The turbo was definitely right, on its way on. out. There it goes. Look, this one's starting to matter. It's Already loose, anyways. Oh no! Uh -huh. Here. Oh. There we go. It's uh. Yep. We can fix it by noon. <laughs> Say cheese!
They found some pieces of the housing, but not the not the turbine. That compressor wheel was moving. There's no way. Yeah. There's a, yeah, there's a piece half a right wheel. There. I see another piece showing on my rack. Ah! Hold on. Oh, you're just getting in line. It's another piece of the housing itself. Let's go with it. I'll go grab a six mil in a second, we'll pull the exhaust off. Yeah, see if we can't pull that turbine wheel out. I need was a 13 for this nut and a six. Actually, we'll just, we'll just I wanna see her run. Excuse all the wind noise, but here's a closer up look. Uh, everything it's about as far as I can fit the camera in here and still look half decent you can still spin the shaft just fine it doesn't hold up but yeah definitely uh, sorry camera died on that clip uh, but yeah she's uh definitely done found pieces of the impeller sitting up here uh, down down in there here's what the housing looks like Uh, a whole lot of stuff. I'd like to know where that nut went. I still have the stock uh, throttle pipe and it has that mesh in there. So hopefully if anything, that caught it, caught it or the intercooler. Um, my AMS intercooler will actually be here Monday, conveniently. So we'll swap that out, inspect everything, look at the throttle body, do a compression test before putting it back together obviously um yeah here we are get to watch everybody else run probably do a couple laps in her m3 just to see if i can do any suspension changes or tire change tire pressure changes to help her uh do better today but, uh, as of right now i'm still i'm holding third place overall if you include the go, go kart but i'm only in second place versus the uh the c6 corvette but it's, it's not even Third run route is just now starting. The S2000 is one of my main competitions. Uh, he'll probably blow right by. And uh, we have the Focus RS, we got the crazy other Subaru. So if I can get top five and only had one good run for the day, because the first run, you know, you just kind of figure out the track. I didn't even do launch control or nothing. So my second lap of the day was my only good lap of the day. And the third lap of the day is when she blew itself apart. So I'm gonna go grab the Jeep over here at this other parking lot after this run group they're taking a like a 15 minute break and i'll have a bunch of people help me push the car on the trailer it's kind of embarrassing but what can you do <laughs> going out with a bang huh Megan like that in the passenger seat. So, uh, yeah, that's what happened. Um, already ordered a new turbo, so you guys will be seeing that very soon on the channel um as soon as she shows up you'll see it i'm making another video right now with uh getting the intercooler on and checking everything and just need to go over a couple things with the car but it seems like it'll be fine um i don't 
think anything got into the motor or anything. Still, need to do a, I'll do a compression chest test just to make sure still, but she's good. And I, I just want you guys to know, so before the diverter, I had a diverter valve issue like the week before that. There was, uh, I molded a hole in my diverter valve somehow. Wasn't throwing a code, wasn't making any weird noises. And I went out and did a bunch of test runs after doing like a, after checking on my boost hoses, did that. And then, okay, thinking maybe it was a wastegate voltage, went out and did a bunch of runs like that. I think I overspun the living crap out of the turbo. And that diverter valve at eight, Definitely the seal because I found like remnants of like the blue uh, rubber plastic stuff in the in the in the pipes, and then uh, it ate some of the plastic. So the turbo was definitely hurt, and I went in knowing that. But it was my last event in Texas, so I wasn't gonna not miss the event. So I decided to send it and uh, bring it off rev limiter at 8,000 RPM. At, uh, so really, whatever. It's not the turbo's fault. It's not the maker's fault. It's I fall, I mean, there's 30 some thousand miles on that turbo. I beat the living heck out of it. And, uh, you know, just had his last word. So, I mean, like I said, I already know that I was trying to make at least 600 with this car, and it would have been really pushing it with that turbo anyway. So, just got pushing against something a little bit bigger. By a little bit, I mean, well, you guys will see. The car will uh, definitely make 600 now, all day. It's going to be very nice. So, just stay tuned. Look out for that video. I don't want to see a bunch of bashing EQT in the comments. It's not their fault. Like I said, I knew the tuber was hurt. Um, and that's how I decided to send it anyway. So they hooked it up anyway. They gave me a nice discount on what's coming. And uh, well, I just, you guys will see. You guys will see. Just drop a thumbs up. Stay tuned. And I'll catch you on the flip flop.